Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GSP with Mahesh. Today we are going to take up a challenge. The challenge name is called as One Hop Trace Route Challenge. So what does this mean is uh, if you have two virtual machines uh, which is geographically separate, maybe one in Mumbai, one in US Central, and if you try to do a trace route from Mumbai machine, the IP address of uh, US machine, it will be only one single hop. So if you look into the documentation of trace route, uh, if it is one hop, what it means is it's actually one single network. So this is something only possible in Google Cloud Platform. When it comes to the public cloud, it's only possible with GCP. The only reason why it is possible is their VPC is global in nature. We have seen this slide many times in many Google presentation and I have also talked about on that in bits and pieces in various videos. So Google's network is one single, like uh, it's a global network, um, one of the biggest uh, software defined network of its nature in the entire planet. Uh, we have talked about it multiple times. So what we are going to do today is we have a virtual machine. We'll have a virtual machine provisioned in Mumbai and one virtual machine provisioned in US Central and we'll try to do a trace route and we'll see it will be one single hop. So which again I repeat, which is not possible in any other public cloud except Google Cloud. So that is the thing which we are going to do in the next few minutes. Let's jump into the demo. All right, to make the demo faster and uh, in a very uh, structured manner, what I have done is I have created a template. So the template name is called as Open Challenge One Hop Trace Route. And if you look into the template, it is everything basic. Uh, so micro VM, no much big deal there. The only change which I have done in this is I have added a startup script which will update the operating system and will install the trace route. Uh, utility so I'm going to use Debian operating system so that is the stuff which we are going to do so it's Debian that's the thing so to make our life simple so let's go ahead and create a uh, virtual machines uh, but not using uh, the normal method but we using the template so click on the template and you should get your template there the two templates so let's use the uh, open challenge uh, one hop trace route and let's give a very small name I'll explain you why I'm going to give or why I'm using this very small names US change it to US central and everything would be default because we are using the template so click on create so let's wait for this instance to be created by the time this gets created let's create the Mumbai machine also click on create instance give a name MUM Mumbai by default it is there because I have set my default location as that so that should be all good click on just verify whether your startup script is there so just to make it clear so if you just come here to your startup script okay I have not used the startup script so let me click on template so I made a mistake click on the template click on continue So let me call it as MUM -U -M. and if you come this time look into the startup script you should see uh, the startup script it's there click on create. So let's wait for these two virtual machines to be provisioned once it is provisioned we will do that magic. All right the virtual machines are provisioned the most important thing in this demo which we need to observe is the network is default VPC one single network. Let's SSH into these machines. All right, I have SSH into these machines. So on my left, I have US. On my right, I have my uh, Mumbai machine. Let me get the IP address, the internal IP address of these machine and try to do the, the magic of trace route. So let me copy the IP address of Mumbai machine and type trace route. And you should see the magic in the next one second you should see it's one single hop. You see that the number of hops is one. Let's do the same thing. Let me copy the IP address of the US machine and type in trace root and paste it. You should see the same thing again here, one single hop. As I mentioned in the beginning, this is only possible with Google Cloud Platform. Now, what we'll do is we'll try to do the same demo but not using internal IP address, but using external IP address. And you'll see how many hops it's going to take, even if it is Google, if you are using external IP address. So let's try to do that. So I have my Mumbai machine. What I'm going to do is trace route the same command, but 
copy the external IP address of the US machine paste it and you see the number of hops would be almost like it keeps on going so you can just wait so by default the maximum hops is uh, 30 it keeps on hitting it so let's wait for that I don't want to pause the screen here so it's an external IP so that's the reason you see the longer latency there so this is one of the very unique feature which you get in Google so global VPC so you can talk about it but doing this live will give you that actual feel of how exactly it has been implemented so you see 30 hops still going on and uh, it gets out of because by default it's 30 hops so let's do the same thing for US machine also all right I am in my US machine and I have copied the Mumbai external IP address ending with 187 and let's see what happens it should be again the 30 hops more than 30 hops because by default it is what we mentioned by the trace route only takes 30 if you want you can override that parameter but just keeping all simple you will see the same observation here so after you can see the number of hops still 6 where it keeps jumping and afterwards you are not able to see it you just see it star so you can look into the documentation what actually star indicates so let's not go into the integrities of that but it shows a longer latency when you use external IP address but if you use internal IP address RFC 1918 address spaces you will definitely get one single hop which is only possible in Google so that's the video which I wanted to share today uh, hope you like it thanks for watching